guys, here's my review of Curl's Daughter's Cocoa Cream Velvet Cream Hair Mask. I'm going to open this jar up and show you the consistency. Yeah, the smell is interesting. Um, a medium type consistency, not too thick, not too uh, thin. So my hair is freshly cleansed and I'm going to go ahead, section off my hair and apply the mask. Now you guys, this is the second time I've used Curl's Daughter products. So I'm going to be very honest, that's what I'm known for. Um... Her products tend to be a hit or miss for me. Yeah, I'm liking the consistency. The products are a hit or miss. This is the second product I've used from the line. Um, the first one was a black shampoo, which was okay. Yeah, the scent, y'all, the product is very heavily scented. It smells like, it has an almondy coconut smell, but there's also an underlying perfume smell to it. Um, I noticed that the mask is just sitting on my hair, but I'm going to continue to apply it. And what I'm also going to do is uh, apply some oil on top of the mask. Now, I do apologize. You may hear me accidentally refer this to the almond mask, but baby, she's coming. That review is coming up also. I just ordered that mask, um, which also has Finks reviews, but we're going to go ahead. So do you see how I feel like the product's just sitting there? Um... But yeah, I'm going to just continue to apply the mask in sections with the oil and we'll see how this turns out. was easy to apply I mean it's a deep conditioner very very creamy um but look at the fallout look at my shirt and keep this in mind okay remember this remember this now I did purchase it from Walmart um, online for $15.17 I left the product on for an hour and this is what it looks like this is interesting I've never seen my hair look like this after applying a deep conditioner turn around to the back it looks puffing in some areas hmm? so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out hmm so do you see this? Let me go try and wash it out again. I mean, it's taking me a while to wash it out and I was very light. I could have I killed that whole thing. All right, now, that's better. Yeah, okay, you guys. So this is the second product I have used by Curl's Daughter. Um, rinsing it out was a bit challenging, but that's okay. At least it was able to come out. My hair feels very, very soft. Um, now, let's see if it does what it said it would do. At Deep Moisture, discovered Touchable softness, yes. Improve manageability, probably ain't gonna happen anytime soon, girl. Um, but for a product that has no parabens, petroleum oil, silicones, mineral oils, I was expecting this. Typically, my deep conditioners has, has some of that stuff in it. <laughs> um, the only thing is that my hair feels, it's very soft, but it feels frizzy. Do you see that? Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe if I had some cones, it wouldn't feel that way. Let me stop. So, yeah, you guys, now, End of the day, would I recommend this? Absolutely. Would I purchase it again? No, I'm just being honest. I just find that for me personally, it wasn't, it wasn't memorable, is that a word? <laughs> It's just not a product that I will add to my regimen because quite frankly, there are other products that are cheaper too that work better or just as well. Um, so that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It. I felt like I owed it to you guys to come back on cam to let you know how things have worked out. So I used the Curl Starter Almond, Almond Milk Mask about two out no that's a lot, about three hours ago. It is now eight o'clock and I've had to rewash my hair. 
that product is a beast to rinse out i did not use a lot i could have used a lot more also as my hair was was drying air drying my hair felt dry it dried out my hair y'all i mean right afterwards i used uh, melanin hair cares leave-in styler um, and not only that, but what I wanted to say, the scent is very heavy. Yeah. Perfume smell to it, it's gonna be a hard no for me. I'm sorry, but you know, I went back, looked at a couple of reviews on Amazon, which probably should do that before. So yeah, it's enough for me. So I wanted to add that onto this video, okay?